icons dating back to the 14th century brought together from private collections across Russia. It's very beautiful. It gives you goose pimples. It's a remarkable exhibition. It's an exhibition which feeds the senses. Everything is so grey outside at the moment. And here suddenly it's a feast for the eyes. And it's a feast that marks 100 years since religious icons started to be recognized as works of art. Before then, they were mainly viewed as religious objects, often left blackened over the centuries by the passage of time and added layers of paint. When we learned how to remove the dark layers, when we learned how to remove the dark layers, when we learned how to remove the dark layers, we discovered underneath an overwhelming beauty, to such an extent that it shocked Andre Matisse, who was in Moscow at the time. He said, it's here that artists should come to learn to paint, not to Italy. But today, only a small number of these masterpieces remain. Most were destroyed during the Soviet era. These icons are the survivors. If museums hadn't saved them, they wouldn't exist today. There are 50,000 icons in Russian museums. Before, there were millions. But now the future of this part of Russian heritage is up for debate. Are the icons best held by museums, or should they be returned to the country's churches?